start the show. Hello, Inna. Hello. Welcome to Yarn on the House. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. It's nice to have you. Why don't you tell the viewers what you do and uh, what you're all about, what your business is? Um, I'm a, a jewelry artist now, and this is my full-time job. Mm -hmm. I started uh, this four and a half years ago, uh, basically making some, um, you know, like um, creating some event for my daughter's birthday. Uh -huh. Just we gathered all the girls and I decided to make a few pieces of jewelry with them. So I went to the dollar store mm -hmm. and I got so excited just doing this. So I decided to make a few more for myself. Yeah. And then my thought necklace got somehow sold by my neighbor. And this is like, you know, it's not about the money, but that the fact that someone wanted to have something that I made yeah. and was ready to pay money for that, I was like only on six clouds looks. So I said, okay, <laughs> so uh, that's going to be really exciting. So that's how I started. That's really exciting. Where are you located? Why don't you tell everybody where you live? I live in Toronto, actually, uh, like uh, what's called GTA. It's not exactly Toronto, it's Thornhill. It's mm -hmm. Toronto area. Okay. I live in a house and I have my, uh, my studio in my basement, organized. Yeah, so I work from home now. Yeah, that's great. And so four and a half years and your site has grown. You offer some beautiful jewelry on there. Um, and especially for us knitters, why you're here on Yarn on the House is because you have shawl and scarf pins. Do you want to kind of talk about how you got into making those, what your inspiration was, and um, talk a little bit maybe about the materials that you use? Okay. Um, I actually am a knitter too. Oh, good. Uh, I, now I don't really have time to knit, but, um, you know, like every time I have like a, some extra time while we drive somewhere like far away from here, so yeah. my husband drives and then I knit, mm -hmm. so it works for me. But... Um, yeah, but how I started with shawl pins was really interesting. Um, when I started my jewelry, I was looking for, for something. Like, I started beading. Then I realized that it's not really for me, so I started to look for more inspiration. So, of course, I went to a bookstore. Mm -hmm. And then I found that uh, it was called, like, Bead on a Wire book. I don't remember the author. And then, so they had like a one section, what's called uh, shawl pins, like okay. um, brooches. And then I got so inspired by this item because basically it's not something that you see every day. Exactly. Don't people wear every day. Mm -hmm. And I started to make like out of curiosity a few. Uh -huh. And then, uh, and then it got uh, like, uh, this item was very popular and I got more more ideas how to make this and it was growing and growing and then one day I said to myself like I realized that basically it's the only item that I the most enjoy making oh yeah <laughs> so yeah like I have a sweater that um, that I knitted for myself like a few years ago while driving to Florida uh -huh. my husband was driving I was knitting right so, then, yeah, and then I have like a, even my own shawl pins. I have a few, but I have the shawl pin that I'm just really proud to wear. Uh -huh. It's one of my favorite designs. And I have so many designs. And, you know, like uh, I create uh, lots of them basically in my head, I would say. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, and then every... Sorry? Oh, I was, I was going to ask how, how your inspiration starts when you start creating jewelry. Do you just start manipulating the wire or do you have something in your head before it comes out? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, um, in the beginning my process was mostly by um, drawing and then uh, putting this in, in action. But then I realized that uh, whatever I draw I cannot exactly reproduce because of this some like you know difficulties to bend the wire the way I want it. So uh, I do that still sometimes, mm -hmm. very rare. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I would say I create something in my head. Yeah. And most of the time, it happens while I fall asleep. <laughs> Fifty percent of my ideas I don't remember next morning. Yes, right. <laughs> 
So if you people suggested me to put like a, a notebook and a pencil beside my bed, so I will wake my husband up. It's not yeah. a good idea. <laughs> and then uh, I have another part of my uh, of my uh, creative process, which is very interesting. I'm mm -hmm. like a person, I'm a very practical person. I, I, I hate to waste materials and <laughs> effort and labor and time. And uh, so sometimes I, I have my, something in my head, then I start to create, and it's not working out. Mm -hmm. So I look at this and I said, wow, that's a waste of time and waste of materials. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes I try to save that piece of jewelry mm -hmm. by actually remaking and redesigning it. Uh -huh. And this one, uh, like, you know, be, uh, be, this particular item sometimes becomes so successful so successful mm -hmm. so i really love it so and then i i, I actually produce in this line like i have a, an example uh, and and uh, that's the shell pin also that i i own my my, my like and i wear on my sweater mm -hmm. that i was trying to make some design very simple and then the bead got and it was expensive bead like mm -hmm. um, it was lamp work it oh, cracked yes. a little bit actually oh, chipped no. a little bit at the end yeah. And I was trying, so like, but the, it was so beautiful, I just couldn't waste it. Yeah. So I started to think how I can save it just to wrap it at least to hide this place. Mm -hmm. So, and then I created that new, like, a, it's a, like a bead cap, like, you know, on the bead. Yes. And it's beautiful. Now I have lots of designs like that. <laughs> the exact one was like a left to myself. Right. I like, couldn't do anything. But then I started to say, it's, oh, it's going to be a beautiful line. Yeah. So that's like a salvage pieces, I would say. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think um, us as knitters do the same thing, except for it's easy for us to pull knitting apart and reuse the yarn. It's probably... Yes. I, I always do that. But yeah. if, if I'm not happy with something that I need, sometimes I always like close to the finish. And then I don't like it. So just, okay, starting again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>